Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Carrie. And yes, we're back to hauling in my backyard because it's really nice out today. I couldn't even venture a guess as to the temperature because we have like 95 million thermometers around my yard, but I don't think any of them work. But it's really nice sitting out here in just like a really thin long sleeve shirt. It's not even like fleece or anything. I'm actually quite comfortable right now. So I decided to do my little haul out here for a change since it's been a while. But anyway, I went to, um, 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 I went to Harmon. I went to Walmart and I went to Target. And my previous video, my fastest vid in the East video featured this, but in case you didn't watch that one, I just wanted to mention, at Harmon, for some reason, they just had this one particular refreshed lip smacker on clearance, 50% off. So instead of being $3.99, it was only $1.99. And if you're not aware, if you do have a Harmon in your area, they do take Bed Bath & Beyond coupons. So I was able to use a 20% off one item coupon to get an additional 40 cents off. So it came to $1.59 and then with New York sales tax, it was $1.73. So it was still less than half of the original price before tax. So I thought that was a really good buy. I have the Coca-Cola one that I received in a friend mail and I'm not particularly a fan of squeezy tube lip balms. I try not to collect them. I stick with the regular stick balms for the most part and the spheres like Revo's and EOS which I'm not even really collecting Revo's anymore because they suck these days and EOS I'm really trying to just fill in odds and ends if there's ones that sound like extra special awesome scents but anyway this is a buy and it comes with the cute little lip shaped key ring as well so I just thought that was a deal and I couldn't pass it up only Sprite though I don't know why they had the other flavors of soda but that was the only one that was on clearance then at Walmart, I was looking, I did a Valentine's card exchange. I think I told you guys about that in another video. My friend Mary set it up on Instagram and there were about 15 of us that exchanged addresses. We gave all our addresses, our addresses to Mary and we are doing a Valentine card exchange. I've gotten about five or six so far, so I'm excited to get the rest. But um, my dear friend Beth, I mentioned to you guys in another video the other day that I volunteer with at the animal rescue had gotten me some cute little Valentine's gifts and I was like, crap, I forgot about my friends at the rescue. So I was looking around to try to find some cute Valentines and I didn't really see anything that thrilled me to death. So I said, you know what, I'm going to make theirs. I made the ones for the card exchange. I'm going to make for them too. So that's going to be my crafting thing in a little while. After I shoot this shower and after shower, work on making some uh, Valentine cards. And there are some people that come on Wednesdays like clockwork and there are some that show up on occasion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out specific ones to people I know will be there. And then I'll make a few extra ones that just say, you know, love your friend Carrie without their name on it. So that way if there's extra people, nobody feels left out because I know that's like the worst in the world for people to feel like they got left out of something. So anyway, so I didn't find Valentine cards, but at Walmart I did find these adorable sticker albums with sticker sheets. I am always on the hunt for sticker albums. They're actually incredibly hard to find, believe it or not. Like if you find them even on Amazon a lot of the times, make sure you read really carefully in the description because some of them are meant to keep the stickers in permanently. They are not glossy pages. They are not removable pages. So you can stick your stickers in the album, but good luck if you ever want to remove them because they're like re regular paper. But these I've gotten before. I love this sloth. I'm like kind of obsessed with sloths lately. I think I told you guys there was a sloth assistant referee at the Puppy Bowl this year. And now like I have this rekindled love of sloths. So I thought this was so cute. And then you get a sheet of 49 stickers along with it with all these adorable animals. And the sticker album itself is four pages. I know it's kind of hard to show. But I thought that was so precious. Apparently there were three styles of this. I didn't see any with the heart. But I did also get this adorable one with the waffle and the coffee. The heart one would probably be the most generic. So I'm not even that upset. But look at this waffle. With the butter pat. And you guys know I'm all about the butter pat. I don't know why a butter pat on a piece of toast or bread. Well that's kind of the same thing. Toasted bread or not toasted bread. But on, on a pancake or a waffle or a piece of bread or whatever in like plushies and cute designs. I don't know why the extra I get extra feels and think it's super kawaii and adorable if there's a butter pat, but I love the butter pat and the little coffee. And again it's a four page album and you get all of these foodie stickers and I actually like these stickers even better than the animals, surprisingly, but they're just so cute. There's a hot dog, there's s'mores, there's just everything that I love. And this one has 50 stickers. 
So anyway, those were 98 cents a piece at Walmart, and that's all I bought there. And then Target, and this was all gift card money, by the way, except for Hartman. I still had Walmart money and Target money left on a, uh, actually the Walmart money was left over from a Christmas gift card. And the Target money is, I still have a Christmas gift card too, but that is from a gift from my amazing friend, Billy, who is ridiculous and literally sent me a Walmart, a Target gift card to celebrate my reaching a thousand subs because she is everything. But anyway, so I got some really cute stuff in the dollar spot. Again, I looked for Valentine's there, but they didn't have any left that I liked. I waited too long. They had so many. I was just a dingle to work and I wasn't thinking. But anyway, I got this rubber stamp set, you guys. I figured for sure this would be $3 because there were four stamps in it, but it was only a buck. Uh, I was like squeeing. But they had two sets like this, but I, pre I preferred this one. I don't need every stamp in the world. But it's a little kitty cat Unikitty ice cream pop that says sweet. This one says so magical. And then you get a little pinata and a little unicorn, and they're so adorable. And then to go with it, I have a few rubber stamp ink pads. I had to go through my stash because some of them are years old and they were pretty dried up and crappy. But this one, you guys, look at how cute this is. You get five colors. You get green. Okay. Yes, you do get five. Okay. You get green and purple, blue and silver, and pink. And I like that this one is a rectangle, so it's good for like the kitty cat one. And then these four are just the little squares. They're perfect for the little ones, or the magical ones fit perfect on this, too. And you could technically use the smaller ones on the big ones, and probably, and it would be hard to use the big ones on the small ones, because I was going to say, sometimes you can kind of slide it across to get the ink on there. But these four would probably just be best with the little squares. But this one will work great with the two rectangular ones. And I have lots of other ink pads, too, like I said. But to get five colors for a buck, I couldn't pass that up. So I got that, too. And then, of course, they always get me with the sticker books. These are basically, they're all by a brand called Fashion Angels. I think these are Fashion Angels, too. Yes. Fashion Angels out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So that's a new company, I guess, that they're working with in the Target dollar spot. Because Target is based out of Minneapolis, I think. So it's not like a Target-branded thing. Although it may be exclusive to Target. I don't know. But anyway, Fashion Angels... I got four sticker, uh, three sticker books. This one with the narwhal, oh my gosh. They're pretty much the same albums in some ways, but then like the main featured big stickers vary. Like this one has huge narwhals and you're so gnarly, or you're gnarly because it's a narwhal, get it? I know, I love punny humor. But then you get like Unikitty, Mermaids, and Cacti, and all kinds of fun, cute stuff. Rainbows. Some of these will be repeated in the other albums. But let me show you all the stickers you get in here. There's a normal with glasses. Like I said, it's the only main difference is the big stickers, like the featured character on the front. That one doesn't even have a normal on it, I don't think. And then there's one more page. These are four pages. Eh, where did I miss one earlier? No, I missed one earlier. One, two. I don't know which. Oh, I think I missed this one with the pink narwhal. Was that the one I missed? Or this one? No, I got that one, so I missed the pink narwhal page. But yeah, you get four different pages. And the narwhal is the main difference. Then I got this one with the Unikitty Mermaid as the featured character. And like I said, a lot of the little ones are kind of repeated or similar but you get big unikitty mermaids in this one and the big unikitty ice pop in there again another big unikitty mermaid oh there's a little more wall in that one uh yeah see it's like a lot of the mermaid unikitties but there are still some smaller narwhals in there, too. And I think I skipped a page again because I'm a dork, but whatever. You get the idea. And then last but not least, I got this one with the traditional unicorn and the rainbow because, again, the main featured big stickers are going to be unicorns, as you can see. But you'll see, like I said, a lot of them are repeated. The little unikitty mermaids, the ice pop some of the hearts, the rainbows, etc. But it's not like you ever really don't need stickers like this. If you're a Kauai fan and a sticker fan like I am, you'll need all three of these books because, I mean, look at how cute that one is. And the huge Unikitty Ice Pop. And I legit, oh, I didn't. I was going to say I legitimately skipped one every time. Look at the little pool floaty one. It's so cute. So, yeah, so I got those things for five bucks at 
Target and I used my gift card from Billy. So thank you, Billy, for treating me to that. Thank you, Mom, for treating me to Walmart because I'm still using my Christmas gift card. So like I said, legit, the only thing I paid for out of my own pocket was the Sprite Lip Smacker Gloss. And um, like I said, that was $1.70 something, including the tax. So that is everything. This is just something I took out of my car. It's an old Hello Kitty toy. She's dirty. She's old. She flops around all over the place. I'm not throwing her out or anything, but I'm just switching her out with another toy in the front of my car. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you're finding any good deals, especially dollar deals or in the case of Walmart, 98 cent deals at your Walmart or Target because I'm always on the hunt for those. My friend Courtney found the most amazing little squishy the other day. Oh, God, I always forget the name. Courtney, if you can, if you watch this, please comment the brand name again of the one that you got that was the s'more. They're like $3 squishies. They come in blind bags. She's found them at Walmart. I can't find them anywhere, Walmart or any place else, but I'm desperate to because they're so cute. They're like little foodie ones, really, really detailed, very adorable. They look pretty slow rising, and I really want to find them. So, Courtney, help a girl out, please, if you don't mind, if you can comment below what the brand Brand name is of those particular squishies because I really 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 want to find them and that way once you comment the name other people can let me know if they've been finding them too because I really want to try a couple of them they're just so sweet and she found the s'more which is the rare on her very first one which is so 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 awesome if you guys watched my Dollar Tree haul yesterday you will see I found a rare on my first try of little minions toys that doesn't happen very often so it's really cool when it does it's like that extra ooh that feels so special but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going in to wash my hair, and then I'm going to make valentines for my friends at the shelter. But I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having a great day, and I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.